Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today we're going to review a 4-in-1 USB-C hub. That's right, USB-C. None of that USB-A stuff. I'm going to show you what you can use it for, give you the specs. Shouldn't be very long to do all that, but we'll see if this is any good. See if it works, see what it does. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox it and we're going to get it out and have a look at it. And it's from a company called Mini Spiro. I hope I, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's 4-in-1 USB-C hub. All right, 10 gigabyte per second. So we're going to get it out. We're going to have a look at it and we'll explore a little bit more about it. So we'll get this plastic off so it's nicely sealed. Now it says on here, 10 gigabyte per second of data, 20 watts when you're charging, 12 volts or 2 amps for the power adapter and of course the LED is just a working light. So just wanted to make sure you could see all that. It's got some more information here in the back. Let's show that to you. All right, so USB-C, mail 3.2, again 10 gigabyte a second at 1 and sync 3A or 3 amps. It has a 24 watt DC wall adapter. You can see the old pulse here. Your standby power is less than 1 watt on Mac OS and less than 0 0.7 watts on Win OS. Power adapter, like I said before, is 24 watts, 12 volt or 2 amp. All right, so we are going to get it out. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay, so it's sealed here, so we're just going to pop that open. Okay, so we just open this up. Very little, it's very tiny. I don't know, I kind of like little things sometimes. You don't need gigantic products to get a gig gigantic performance look at that is that cool or what very tells you exactly what's what even lights up once it's plugged in which we will do and of course plug in on the end is USB-C right what else do we got let's have a look inside the box so we have our wall adapter for powering it all right it's a sizable plugs into your AC and this plugs into well right there hey very simply hey okay, that'll give you your power this goes to your computer or whatever device you want to use it in and it has a little manual here to tell you all about it so your instruction manual basically tells you pretty much the same as what's on the box all right package contents of course is your 4-in-1 USB-C hub your 24 watt DC wall adapter, of course the instruction manual, and it has a support number and a website. So if you have any questions or have any issues, contact them first and they will help you out. All right, so USB hub has four super speed USB-C interfaces. All right, so these four here. All right, all four of them. Total length of the wire right here, all right, is 60 centimeters plus and the diameter is five millimeters okay so not only is this a small dock but it can transfer data and it can charge other devices with 20 watts of power so that's pretty good and of course we've already talked about all the other um, specs on the back and we have everything we need to know so what are we going to do now well let's find some things plug them in and see if it actually does what it claims all right, I just want to get into this. This is about 23 inches long, this cable. And your wall adapter is about four feet, just a little bit over four feet and 23 inches, maybe just about 23 and a half inches for the USB-C where it plugs in. All right, we're going to get to our USB-C hub. So these three here are for 10 gigabyte a second data ports only. Okay, and this one here is your 10 gigabyte a second data and 20 watt output charging all right so the four port hub has a maximum bandwidth of 10 gigabyte a second uh, when you connect it only one USB-C port the maximum speed is 10 gigabyte seconds um, and when you have multiple USB-C ports are connected the bandwidth will automatically allocated and so it will be a little bit less than 10 gigabyte a second all right so just keep that in mind all four USB-C do not support display video. 
All right, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the USB-C marked with one, two, and three. So th these three here are for data transmission. And of course, like I said, this one here is for output uh, and charging other devices. All right, so just, and uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll plug it in, just have a look at the uh, display here. Uh, the value will fluctuate according to the connection and what you've got plugged into it. And of course, just as a disclaimer, it says make sure the DC adapter and, and laptop, if you're using one, are connected to the dock. Otherwise, you might get some functions that may not work right. The fourth USB-C port, again, this one here, only supports charging external devices. It does not support charging your laptop, though. All right, so that's all there is to it. That's pretty much all the specs, everything like that. There's not really much more to say. But I do want to plug it in and show it to you uh, with this lighting up so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so with it just plugged into the wall adapter, of course it's showing nothing here. So I'm going to plug this end into my computer and we'll see what comes up on the screen. So give me one second here. Okay, it automatically connects. I mean, does anything change? No. But let's plug sub. Let's plug something into it and see what happens. Okay, so I have my Arica. It's got a USB-C connector here. So I'm going to plug that in and let's see what happens. So plugging it into the bottom one, it's saying 1.9, 1.8. It's fluctuating a little bit. And so it's going back and forth. Now it could be my computer. I'm just setting it up. Now this is from an M.2 drive. Let's plug it into the other one where the transfer speeds are. Let's have a look there. So... As you can see here, okay, it's lighting up. And every time you have one plugged in, it's going to indicate. All right, just in case you're in a dark room and you want to see that. All right, so I'll show you. Let's, let's do that. And every time you remove it or plug it in, you are going to hear the computer acknowledging it. There's no drivers. There's no software. Nothing required. Everything's just right there. It's all plugged in, and it's going to work. So if I was to transfer now from here, uh, anything on here to my computer, well, let's see what happens. Okay, so just to make sure that this transfers properly, I have my backup drive, okay? I'm gonna take this file here, which is about 641 megabyte. And we're just gonna drag it, drop it in here, and see how quickly it works. And this is plugged into the hub, of course. So there's our transfer. Let's see how fast it takes this. So it's a fairly good sized file. No, that's not too bad. It's, it's, it's doing the job. And, and it's done. Problem solved. So transfer speeds, everything is working. I'm pretty happy with it. It, it, it does what it says it's going to. And that's all we can expect from our products and we shouldn't expect anything less. If they say they can do something, we need to make sure they can do it. Okay, so something else I just wanted to point out is I have plugged in here, all right, so this USB-C, my adapt, my little hub is there, all right? I do not have the AC adapter plugged into it for power, all right? If you're just transferring stuff, it's fine. You wanna charge or anything? Well, then plug in your AC for power so you can Make sure you're getting a proper charge. All right, just something to be aware of. All right, so we have a USB-C hub. You can do transfer, and it can charge. I've got it connected here to my computer, plugged into the AC wall adapter, and I did the transfer. Everything is working fine. It's recognized without any software. This will work with Mac, and it's actually one of the highest recommended uh, USB-C hubs for a Mac. All right, so if you need a bunch of stuff plugged in, that's it's saying that's the one to get. So I can't say that that is because I don't have a Mac. But everything else works. Why wouldn't it? And, of course, I've got it running on Windows. It transfers. Everything I plugged in, everything is recognized. You know, when you have a little product like that, sometimes you're a little skeptical. But when it works, it works. And I'm very happy with it. I'm always happy with stuff if it works. I'm not so happy when it doesn't work. Um, 
So that's the video with everything going USB-C today. Um, this is the kind of stuff we need. We need more USB-C hubs that can do more things. So if you like the video, hit that like. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have questions. I'll certainly get back to you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you like it.